thank you to my husband, who's everything to me. True. <laughs> you can't have him, he's mine. Thank you. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 times Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds made us believe in love. She's the most beautiful Denny's you've ever seen. Yeah. I guarantee. Well, congratulations. You know what my wife doesn't realize though? Is that she calls me mama too. It's, it's alarming to me how many of these photos he found though where I look like this and like I have a Barbie in my lap and I'm like what is happening here but he looks handsome in all of them. For this list we'll be looking at the times that these two were the ultimate power couple. What's your favorite Blake and Ryan moment? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Mama Ryan. Jimmy Fallon wrote a book called Your Baby's First Word Will Be Data but Ryan had a much different experience with his daughter. Visiting the late night host, Ryan revealed that his daughter was just saying mama. Ryan hilariously pretended to be annoyed with an eye roll, although the joke's on Blake. It turns out that their baby calls Ryan mama as well. You know what though, you know what my wife doesn't realize though? Is that she calls me mama too. <laughs> it's a cute story that many parents can identify with. Teaching his daughter to call him dada might have been easier said than done, but Ryan definitely felt like a typical uncool dad when a bus of high schoolers caught him jamming in his car. I was sitting in traffic and I was just like jamming these dreams by heart. Oh. I was killing it in the car. And there was just this busload of high school kids that were parked right beside me. I didn't even realize. I looked over and every one of their jaws were just on the ground laughing their freaking guts <laughs> out at me. When Blake dropped by almost a year later, she shared a video of their daughter calling a Jimmy Cutout dada. Where's your dada? <laughs> Number 19. Coloring book request at dinner. A few months before they tied the knot, Blake accompanied Ryan to his hometown of Vancouver for a dinner atop Grouse Mountain. The couple was joined by Ryan's mother for what was supposed to be a fancy meal at the observatory. In the end, though, they enjoyed a more laid-back dinner at Altitude's Bistro, where several other members of Ryan's family joined them. According to a source from the restaurant, quote, they spent several hours catching up on the latest news and sharing lots of laughs with each other. Most adorable of all, Blake and Ryan asked for a coloring book in order to play tic-tac-toe. As far as we're concerned, this night can pretty much be summed up with X's and O's. Number 18, newborn baby. He was like, oh my gosh, you know, if I lost you and I, you know, went to the park with our three kids, I mean, think of the ladies I can <laughs> In 2019, Blake and Ryan had their third daughter, Betty, who they introduced to the public via Twitter. Well, technically Betty's face was blurred out with a smiley face drawn on the photo, which is perfectly on brand for the couple. The tweet wasn't just an excuse to tease fans who were desperate for baby pictures. Ryan wanted to share the natural beauty of British Columbia, which he hopes his daughters will get to experience as they grow up. The Canadian-born actor thus pleads with his followers to vote for a candidate who will shape climate policy. Valuing their children above all else, Ryan and Blake are dedicated to preserving a thriving world for them to inherit. This is, I guess this is kind of my way to help ensure that the rainforests that I grew up with as a kid uh, are still gonna be there, wild and unique and in the world for my kids and for hopefully their kids too. Number 17, Ryan's Baked Goods. Since his wife is a celebrity foodie, it shouldn't come as a surprise that Ryan has gotten more experimental in the kitchen albeit with mixed results. What's your favorite bakery? Uh, my home. My husband has, has coined it the Blakery. In 2017, Ryan attempted to bake Christmas cookies, and as Blake mentioned on Twitter, they weren't exactly Martha Stewart quality. He's very handsome though, Blake mentioned on Instagram, to which Ryan replied, quote, I wanted to be the first person to bake Christmas cookies using only a hammer. This didn't discourage Ryan from baking Blake a heart-shaped cake for Valentine's. Covered in strawberries, the cake was a noticeable improvement from his Christmas cookies. That said, Ryan mentioned on Instagram that, quote, the icing is glue because he's not a scientist. However this dessert tasted, the gesture could not have been sweeter. And she's really good at it. And I don't know how she, she does, she's much better at multitasking than I am. I'm like a shark. <laughs> I need to look at the one thing I'm doing and right. that's it. Number 16, Ryan's MTV Movie Award acceptance speech. Picking up an MTV Movie Award for Best Comedic Performance in 2016, it only made sense for the Deadpool actor to work a few jokes into his acceptance speech. I think Ryan Reynolds got this far on his superior acting method. Ryan thanked the fans, the crew, and his wife, 
revealing something incredibly personal about their marriage in the process. Making Blake laugh is what Ryan lives for, and apparently that extends to their bedroom. I want to thank my wife, uh, Blake. Uh, everything I do is to make her laugh, uh, especially the sex. So thank you. Thank you very much, you guys. For some couples, this would be considered TMI, especially given the size of the audience. As Ryan mentioned, though, everything he does is to make Blake laugh, and it's safe to assume that this line cracked her up. Besides, Ryan was making fun of himself above all else, and he did it in the name of love. And it's like, it's kind of torture these days because I'm on a plane and, and everywhere I look, every screen is my husband uh, in a, a sex montage throughout the holidays with another woman because everybody wants to watch Deadpool on the plane. <laughs> Everyone. Number 15, Blake's People's Choice Award acceptance speech. Ryan isn't the only one who knows how to bring the laughs during an acceptance speech. In 2017, Blake's performance in The Shallows won her a People's Choice Award for Favorite Dramatic Movie Actress. Blake took this moment to discuss how her love of the Spice Girls introduced her to girl power. So I set a goal for myself as a kid, and I knew if I could accomplish this that I would be successful and I would be happy, and that was to meet the Spice Girls. Um. Her words were an inspiration to women everywhere, but this wasn't the only message that Blake got across that night. So thank you for sending a message to Hollywood that, that people want to hear stories about women, and we want to hear your stories. Professing her love for Ryan as her speech wrapped up, Blake reminded the crowd that nobody else can have him. Thank you to my husband, who's everything to me. <laughs> you can't have him, he's mine! Thank you! While Blake was obviously joking around, there's no denying that Ryan is hers and hers alone. Number 14, the most beautiful Denny's. Uh, when we had that, that baby, I, I fell more in love with my wife than I'd ever been mm -hmm. in my entire life. That's the even, way it works. I couldn't even believe That's it. That's exactly the way it works. It brings, like, you know. The poet E.E. E. Cummings once wrote, You are my sun, my moon, and all my stars. To Ryan, Blake is, You know, she's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Ryan used this analogy to describe their roles as parents, comparing himself to a diaper-changing facility that's barely getting by. In Ryan's eyes, Blake is like a restaurant that's open 24-7, comparing her to a Denny's. She is a, a human Denny's all day long and all night long. Since Denny's isn't the most elegant eating establishment, not many would associate it with Blake Lively. We get what Ryan is saying, however. Just like the hardworking folks at Denny's, Blake is committed and won't rest until the job is done. Plus, he did add that she's the most beautiful Denny's in the world. She's the most beautiful Denny's you've ever seen. Yeah. I guarantee. Well, congratulations. Number 13, the secret to their marriage. Ryan and Blake are among the most famous couples in Hollywood, but maintaining a healthy family life is their top priority. Blake revealed in an interview that they try not to work at the same time. Both of them have given up projects that they were passionate about in order to keep their family together. Even when their work hours do intersect, Ryan and Blake find the time for each other. You yeah. know, we, we, we both give up movies that we love so that we can stay together as a yeah. family. While Blake was filming The Shallows in Australia, Ryan would fly back and forth to see her and their family, even though he was putting the finishing touches on Deadpool. But, you know, he loves being with his family, is great about yeah. it, so he would, you know, leave for 15 hours and come right back. Yeah. It's crazy. In a business as competitive as film, one's career can sometimes overshadow what's most important, although that has not been the case for these two. I was, uh, I was on my way to pick up my daughters from school when I heard that I got the role. Well, I didn't show up at school, because Detective Pikachu, he doesn't know who those two little girls are. Who are they? They're our daughters. Number 12, when Blake posted a Father's Day photo. On December 16th, 2014, Blake and Ryan welcomed their daughter James into the world. The following June, Ryan celebrated his first Father's Day as a proud papa. I, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna write, I'm gonna write a book that's, that's called uh, Daddy Loves You 10% More. <laughs> To commemorate the event, Blake took to Instagram and shared a photo of her hubby holding James in a baby carrier. We're not sure what's cuter, the pic itself or Blake's caption, which reads, quote, Since the day our baby was born, I felt so strongly in my heart that you were most likely the father. Equally funny and adorable, this post essentially sums up why you should be following both Blake and Ryan on social media. You're always bound to uncover a comedic goldmine. Number 11, Ryan Gosling. Nope. 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 That, not, that's worse. Nope. Nope. 
Not me. I was nine. That's a participation award. Aside from their names, Ryan Reynolds and Ryan Gosling have a few things in common. Both were born in Canada, both have a great acting range, and both were nominated for Best Actor, Motion Picture, Musical, or Comedy at the 74th Golden Globes. For the record, Gosling won. This, uh, this isn't the first time I've been mistaken for Ryan Reynolds, but uh, it's getting out of hand. There's no bad blood between the two Ryans, as they posed for some pictures together at the Critics' Choice Awards a few weeks earlier. A few months later on her husband's birthday, Blake shared one of these photos on Twitter. Half of Reynolds' face had been cropped out, while Gosling was front and center. Reynolds had previously cropped Blake out of a birthday post to her, making this an epic act of retribution on her behalf. Number 10. When Blake talked about how Ryan makes her laugh. What's Blake Lively like? She's wonderful. No. What's Blake Lively like? You're a f***ing pig. Ryan Reynolds has demonstrated his comedic chops in movies like Van Wilder, The Proposal, and, of course, Deadpool. Her. Fourth wall break inside a fourth wall break. That's like 16 walls. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that he's just as hilarious off screen, at least according to his wife. Is Ryan Reynolds... Oh, oh mean. Mean. Like he's Canadian. I, look, you, you, punch, a, you punch a couple annoying. hundred orphans and suddenly you're mean. During an interview with Sway Calloway, Blake Lively discussed Ryan's ability to put a smile on her face. Blake mentioned that her husband is constantly making her laugh, even during really inappropriate situations. For example, Blake hinted that Ryan could conjure chuckles anywhere, including funerals. Huh. Funerals, no, not a good place to laugh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, he's just, he's just, he makes everything fun and enjoyable. I don't know, he's, he's, he's terrible. He says the most inappropriate things at all times. A sense of humor is one of the best qualities you can find in a spouse. It's clearly a staple of Blake and Ryan's marriage, both in sickness and in health. Love is blind, Wade. No, you're blind. Number nine, first baby picture. Uh, that is not Anaconda. the child's name. It is, it's Butternut Summer Squash. It is. Yes. <laughs> there it is. No, it's, it's, Ryan it's out there. Tells all. It's out there. It's James. Before taking that adorable Father's Day photo, Ryan gave the world its first glimpse of his daughter. Granted, it was only a tiny glimpse of James's hand reaching out and grabbing a hold of her father's. As sweet as the photo itself is, Ryan's caption was even cuter. Thumb wrestling isn't always fair, Ryan wrote. Curiously, my hand is the small one. Well, Deadpool does know what it's like to have baby hands. About the size of a KFC spork. Blake then chimed in, proclaiming that her husband had officially joined Instagram. It's a picture-perfect moment that both pulls at the heartstrings and tickles one's funny bone. So you love being a dad? I love it. It's like, it's really kind of made me a better person, I think, you know? I, I, I sort of miss being horrible. <laughs> Number eight, when Ryan lovingly vowed to use Blake as a human shield. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you, decent guy? No, 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 no. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible human being. <laughs> After the birth of their first child, Blake and Ryan's love for each other blossomed like never before. At the same time, Blake quickly went from being the most important person in Ryan's life to being numero dos. Speaking with David Letterman, Ryan explained that he would have taken a bullet for his wife early in their marriage. The instant their daughter was born, however, Ryan vowed to use Blake as a human shield to protect that baby. I would use my wife as a human shield <laughs> to protect that baby. Whether he was being dead serious, just joking, or a little bit of both, Ryan's dedication as a parent couldn't be more evident. We're sure Blake would also go to extremes if it meant keeping James safe. Number seven, when Ryan helped Blake prepare for a role. In the shallows, Lively played a surfer at the mercy of a great white shark. Given the subject matter, this proved to be one of the most daunting shoots of her career. In need of guidance, Blake turned to her husband, who's no stranger to thrillers, having starred in the Amityville Horror and Buried. In a People interview, Blake opened up about the advice Ryan gave her. He explained to her that this role wouldn't just be an acting challenge, but a physical feat. Thus, she had to prepare for the film as if it were an athletic event. This ultimately helped Blake to pull off one of the most convincing performances of her career. I love you so much, and I miss you more than I ever, I ever even realized I could. 
Number 6. When Blake's Wedding Dress Got Burnt Any bride that's ever walked down the aisle knows how important a wedding dress is. So, you can imagine how devastated Blake Lively was upon discovering a burn mark on her custom Marquesa gown. This incident occurred during a performance from Florence Welch at the wedding reception. Shortly after sparklers were broken out, Blake discovered a huge burn on her dress. Although Blake was initially heartbroken, her new husband helped her to see things from a different perspective. Ryan told his wife that the memory of Florence singing would be forever preserved through this blemish. Blake later told Vogue that the burn mark is now her favorite part of the dress. Isn't that beautiful? Number 5. Blake's Worst Pictures There's, You know, it's like sort of like what my dad used to say, if you can't say anything nice, say something embarrassing. <laughs> Blake got Ryan good with her Gosling tweet, but her husband exacted revenge on her birthday in 2019. On Instagram, Ryan shared a selection of photos that don't capture Blake at her most graceful. Her eyes are closed in most of them, and she's not always looking directly into the camera. Just because you're used to being around the paparazzi doesn't mean that you're always prepared for a snapshot. <laughs> it's, it's alarming to me how many of these photos he found, though, where I look like this. And like, I have a Barbie in my lap, and I'm like, what is happening here? But he looks handsome in all of them. I really need to like, work on my photo face. Even at her most casual, Blake is still gorgeous. So, Ryan's little prank never comes off as mean-spirited. It's truly a sign of love when a couple can poke fun at each other on social media with no hard feelings. I think it's a sign of a healthy relationship, personally. Yeah, yeah. me too. Yeah. I do. Number 4. When Ryan Shared the Baby's Birth Story As mentioned before, Ryan never misses an opportunity to joke around, no matter what the occasion. This was especially apparent when his wife went into labor. As the parents-to-be waited in the delivery room, Ryan didn't hesitate to play Marvin Gaye's Let's Get It On. You, uh, you decided to play a song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you play um, when your wife was I, in labor? I jammed a little uh, Marvin Gaye's Let's Get It On. <laughs> the song didn't exactly put Blake in the mood. As Ryan explained to Seth Meyers, she looked at him as if steak knives were shooting out of her eyes. It, it was like steak knives came out of her <laughs> eyes. Just like, are you me right now? At the same time, Blake still found humor in the situation. Talking to Conan O'Brien, Ryan revealed that the doctor's cell phone went off during the delivery. In response, Blake told the doc to go ahead and take a personal call. Number 3. Whenever they look at each other Even when there's trouble in paradise, celebrity couples will habitually put on their happy faces in the presence of paparazzi. Based on Ryan and Blake's photos together, however, it's safe to say that their feelings are 100% genuine. She's down there, over there, yeah, yeah. Oh, she's just making her shy now. Look at her, she's turning red. She's blushing. Just look at the way they adoringly gaze into each other's eyes with those shimmering smiles. These two look like they belong on a poster for a Disney fairy tale. Come on, are we the only ones that want to see Lively as Princess Aurora and Reynolds as Prince Philip? The point is, if you want to see true love incarnate, look no further than these two. Number 2. When Ryan Got a Star on the Walk of Fame In 2016, Reynolds earned a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He attended the ceremony with Blake and their two children, marking the foursome's public debut as a family. When the time came for Ryan to give a speech, he had a few heartfelt words for his wife, calling her the best thing that ever happened to him. Well, second best thing right after the star. You are the best thing, the best thing that has ever happened to me. Second only to this star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He proceeded to thank her for their incredible children, making him the father of his dreams. Uh, you've made me the father of my dreams when I thought I only had fun uncle potential. Blake later expressed her affection for Ryan on Instagram, describing herself as beyond proud of his achievements. Could these two stars possibly shine any brighter? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. When a double date brought them together I'm gonna make you look good up there, don't worry, okay? Now let's get these pants off and fly some planes. Most people know that Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively first met while filming Green Lantern, arguably the only good thing to come out of that movie. Although they became buddies during the shoot, it was a double date that truly marked the beginning of their romance. Interestingly enough, though, Blake and Ryan weren't paired together at first. She was with another guy, and he was with another girl. 
Nevertheless, the chemistry between Blake and Ryan was like fireworks, making them realize there might be something more to their relationship. Uh, we were both single. We went on a double date with she was on a date with another guy and I was on a date with another girl. And that was the most awkward date for their respective part because we were just like fireworks <laughs> coming across the... While that's a darling story for sure, one can't help but wonder what became of their other dates. Talk about a real life when Harry met Sally encounter. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.